Whoa. Jeff and Jeremy in the morning. Tim Tebow Tattoo Watch. <laughs> yeah. Where's everybody posting all the articles on our Facebook page when this kind of stuff goes down? Mets reassigned Tim Tebow to minor league camp. So Spring training's not even uh, anywhere near over right now. And they're like, yeah, uh, Tim, we're going to have you go back down to uh Does it mean they can't call camp. him up at any time during the season? He will be playing at AAA Syracuse, but so far this year, he's had one RBI in 15 at-bats for the Mets in Grapefruit League action. 31 years of age, 273 with six homers, 36 RBIs, all last season at AA Binghamton. And I know why they're putting him in Syracuse. It's a bigger market. They're going to draw people to the games. He's basically, when Ribline and Blues Baseball got together and they made the pizza dog at the suggestion of one of the KZOZ listeners, when Blues Baseball and Ribline got together and they said, okay, this is we're going to move this much product. That's basically what Tim Tebow is. He's a pizza hot dog. <laughs> hey, take it easy. Those comments could come back to bite you in the form of a tattoo. That's needle. what I'm going to get. I'm going to get a pizza hot dog right underneath Tim Tebow if he ever makes it to the to the major leagues. So you're going to get him Tim Tebow Tebowing and then a pizza hot on, dog underneath it. On a it. pizza hot dog. Yeah. Because it will never happen. Yeah, good. I'm glad to hear that. Two, Hashtag. 244, 14 home runs, 88 RBIs. All right. It doesn't matter. 210 minor league games. It's 244 not over. isn't going to get you to the show when you're 31 years of age. And if you're very late to the party, Jeff said that he'll never make a major league roster during the season, and if he does, he will get a Tim Tebow Listen, tattoo. Rich thinks it's funny. Tim Tebow Listen tattoo. Closer. Listen closely. Watch. <laughs> He's laughing about it at the end. West Coast is not the best coast. Hashtag for St. Patrick's Day. Uh, they've come out with a list of the top 30 cities oh. to go to. Do, do people actually, do, Chica- you, do you fly for St. Patrick's Day? Chicago and Boston, I'd go to Chicago or Boston for St. Patrick's Day because, I mean, it is such an institution. Chicago's a big Irish town, huh? Well, they dye the river green in Chicago. I, I thought St. that Patrick's was Boston. Day. That's Chicago? I'm sure Boston does something similar. Okay. Well, Seattle comes in at number 23 on the what? list. What? So you can fly on that uh, Alaska Airlines flight that on St. Yeah, you know, Patrick's Day. Well, you want to you you want to get up there early, right? I've done, I've people done, like to start early. I've done I've done St. Patrick's downtown. It's not bad, but it's actually San Luis Obispo is a far better St. Patrick's Day. San scene. Francisco, 28 on the list. So I mean, you know, that's a little bit closer. You could drive there. Listen to some of these cities that sound terrible. You and I have been to Grand Rapids, Michigan. That comes in at number 21. One of the most depressing places I've ever been in my life. Comes in above San Francisco and yeah, Seattle for St. Patrick's Day. I don't Patrick's see what's Day. going on in, in Grand Rapids. I mean, I, maybe it's changed. Cedar Rapids, Since Iowa. The last time I've been there. Never been there. Uh, Mayor of Cambria writes in. He says, New York's a, a good one because they have a huge parade. In New York, and it's New York. Buffalo, New York, comes in at number 14 on the list. See, my problem with New York, New York would be... New York, New York, number seven. Um, It's so big. Like, with Boston, Boston's about the size of Seattle, but it's that means it's going to be condensed. And there's a big Irish Catholic population there. See, I would much rather be in a town like San Luis Obispo, where it's very condensed. And you've got about six blocks that you're going to have to navigate. I'll tell you this. I've done St. Patrick's Day. Many St. Patrick's Days, okay? I've done many St. Patrick's Days. I've never experienced St. Patrick's Day to its fullest until I moved to San Luis Obispo. It is the best St. Patrick's Day. Like, what is this publication? Ah, uh, let's see here. I, I'd have to go back. Fodor's, Travel Zoo, TripAdvisor. WalletHub.com. WalletHub. Um, <laughs> WalletHub, I don't work for. But Wallet Hub also does mostly major market studies. San Luis Obispo oversight of Wallet Hub is the best place you could spend St. Patrick's Day. It is a blast. They bring out porta potties and just place you them have, all over downtown. You have, to, you have to. You have to have the infrastructure. Otherwise, you're going to have a big mess on your hands. Speaking of a big mess on your hands, Alex Rodriguez might have a big best mess on his head. Um, Jose Canseco, the same guy that blew the lid off the steroid scandal in Major League Baseball, yes, is now alleging that 
Alex Rodriguez is cheating on Jennifer Lopez, and he's doing it with Jose Canseco's ex-wife, Jessica. <laughs> what? Wait a second. He took to Twitter on Sunday to accuse Alex Rodriguez of cheating. Oh, come on. On Jennifer Lopez. Why would you want to have... With Jessica Canseco, to whom he was married Jose Canseco's to, sloppy seconds when you have Jennifer Lopez. 96 to 90. Cause she's he's, like, what is she, 60? He's she A-Rod. Looks, she looks like she's 25. He's A-Rod. Like, let's let's not forget, okay? You're A-Rod. He can have anybody he wants. He's yeah. going to go no, to Jose he Canseco. Not anymore. Not anymore. He could have had anybody he wanted. I think he but could not, do pretty well. Not so. anymore. Not anymore. I'm not buying it. Hashtag not he, buying it. He said in the tweet, Alex Rodriguez, stop being a piece of crap, but he didn't say crap. Yeah. Stop cheating on Jennifer Lopez. Alex Rodriguez, I challenge you to a boxing match or an MMA match anytime <laughs> you want. He well, says he's all roided out. He says, um, I was at Jessica's house a few months back when he called her on her phone and she tried to hide it. Says, watching World of Dance, watching J-Lo text Alex Rodriguez on that show. Little does she know that he is cheating on her with my (laughs) ex-wife, Jessica. Poor girl. She has no idea who he really is. Subscribe to the Jeff and Jeremy podcast now on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google, and YouTube. It's your Central Coast commute-friendly podcast.